This old woman found out he's got a whole family on the other side of the country. Wife, chavs, I mean, how's he have the energy for that? Is this your way of telling me that there's another Mrs Carter with a load of little Carters running around somewhere? Oh, leave off. <laughs> you know, you lot put enough years on me. Oi. Young man. Mm. I'm not being a barrel store. Yeah, of course. Um, I do want to try and catch Ted and Joyce before they go to court, though. Wonder how long they'll get sent down for. Well, let's hope it doesn't come to that. I thought you'd forgiven them. No, I said I understood how it happened. Forgiveness is something else. Morning. 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 Right. Are you holidays? Court. Oh, today is it? Good idea taking a bag. Here. If you end up in Dickens Hill, ask around for a uh, Malk Jenkins. Tell him you know me. He'll look after you. Hopefully it won't come to that, eh? But I'll keep an eye on your flat for you. We're for the court. <sighs> Wonder if their electric's been turned off as well. OK, Sarah, Sarah. I wish them luck. They've really been going through it. I'm, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I have to say something. He shot you? Yeah, because he thought I was an intruder. It's as much my fault. What? Look, I'm not going over this again, Mum. Well, I'll never get it. No, 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 no. No, I'm with you, Linda. If someone shot me, I'd hold a grudge for the rest of my life. So Johnny's a better man than me. I just pray they get off with a lighter sentence, eh? At the end of the day, I don't want going down for a long time at their age, do we? Here. What happened? Oh, um, suspended sentence for me and community service for Joyce. I'm going to be painted red links. Oh, well, that's fantastic. It was the uh, Ted's psychiatric report that did it. That and that letter that you wrote. We had no idea. The judge read it out. Thank you. This boy of yours, Linda, he's one in a million. I hope you're proud of him. Cheers. Uh, I thought last night was the last night I ever spent in my bed. I really did. I thought I was going to be banged up with a load of blue snippers. <laughs> She's always had a very vivid imagination. Well, it's not imagination. It's on the telly every week. Overcrowding, underfunding, drones going everywhere. Well, tonight we will be sleeping in our own bed, and that is that. <laughs> and I'm really happy for you. <laughs> uh, we better get that electricity put on. Not having another candle lit night. Had enough of that in the 70s. <laughs> <laughs> Mm. You okay? Oh, yeah. he's in the James. Come and sit down. Sometimes good people are pushed into extraordinary circumstances. Yeah. Sometimes stupid old men get trigger happy with guns. I know right now. I still cannot believe that we walk free. I can. I thought I'd never see him again. I know he comes over with a big I am, but prison would have broken him. I want you to come over for your lunch on Sunday, a roast with all the trimmings. That's if we've got electricity by that time. Come in. Thank you. <laughs> 